Russian Colonel Alexei Kolomaitsev has been killed in Moscow region, Ukrainian media reported on Saturday. The colonel was killed on the night of September 27. Alexei Kolomaitsev headed the 924th State Center for Unmanned Aviation of the Russian Ministry of Defense. He trained Russian specialists in the use of UAVs, including operators and maintenance personnel of the Shahid Kamikaze attack drones. Ukrainian intelligence service has claimed responsibility for the assassination of the Russian colonel. Ukrainian media quoted unnamed sources within the intelligence service as saying that the killing of high-ranking Russian military official was the result of the joint operation carried out by local resistance movement and the main directorate of intelligence of Ukraine. The resistance movement is scaling up, expanding its activities throughout Russia and beyond, as we warned earlier. Every Russian war criminal, everyone involved in aggression against Ukraine is our target, regardless of position, age, gender and location. We will destroy everyone who has the blood of Ukrainians on their hands until the Russian regime stops the war and answers for all its crimes, the sources within Ukrainian intelligence said. The media reports did not specify the details of the operation. It should be noted that last week, Ukrainian armed forces in Russia's Kursk region eliminated the commander of the Airborne Assault Regiment of the Russian Airborne Forces, Lt. Col. Alexander Kurin with the call sign, Skipper. The liquidation of Kurin is, a great loss for the Airborne Forces, Ukrainian media reported. There needs to be a shift in the thinking of the UK population as people prepare for the growing threat from Russia to European security, retired Chief of the Defence Staff Sir Patrick Sanders has said. The UK armed forces lack the necessary scale, resilience and internal coherence to maintain a deterrent effect and respond effectively to sustained and intense combat, according to a report by the House of Lords Foreign Affairs and Defence Committee, The Telegraph reports. The report notes that all evidence points to the current size of the British Army being insufficient and questions whether the army is prepared for a possible war with Russia. The report aims to adopt the mindset of a nation under real threat, the media outlet reports. Patrick Sanders warned that the British would have to be called up for war if it began, as the army was too small. 72,500 men, the lowest level since Napoleon's time, journalists say. The text also states that the level of public awareness of the state of the UK's defence posture is disappointingly low. The report warns, the mindset of a nation under real threat is missing and there is an urgent need to invest in shaping public perceptions of the value of national security. A House of Lords Select Committee report, Ukraine, a wake-up call, said the full-scale war demonstrated the need to improve not only the nation's physical capabilities but also its resilience and psychological preparedness. It also criticized the alarmingly low understanding of the public's awareness of the true state of the UK's defense posture. The mindset of a nation under genuine threat is absent and there is an urgent need to invest in shaping how people perceive the value of defence. It warned, it called on Keir Starmer to develop a plan that resonates with citizens, emphasising the importance of national security in their daily lives and moving beyond the notion that defence is solely the military's responsibility. The media reports that Britain may adopt the total defence concept of Sweden and Finland where any discussion of war is seen as a matter for the whole of society and involves all sectors of government, the economy and the civilian population in defence planning. The Russian Federation Security Service is fighting in the Kursk region and is unsuccessfully trying to coordinate combat missions with the military. As reported by the Institute for the Study of War, the Russian opposition newspaper Novaya Gazeta Evropi identified a serviceman of the FSB Special Forces who died in battles in the Kursk region in August 2024. An FSB officer told the publication that the agency's leadership had tasked Special Forces including elements of the Alpha and Vimpel groups with identifying and destroying the Ukrainian armed forces, sabotage and reconnaissance groups. 
According to the source, these groups are poorly suited to conducting combined battles with the use of heavy equipment against regular armed forces. Usually, special service fighters conducted counter-terrorist operations against small terrorist groups and therefore do not have sufficient training and equipment necessary to respond to the Ukrainian armed forces. Another source close to the Russian special services added that the FSB Special Operations Center does not have common communications with military units and there is still no common headquarters to coordinate combat missions between them. Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered the FSB to conduct a counter-terrorist operation in the Belgorod, Bryansk and Kursk regions on August the 9th, following the start of the Ukrainian Armed Forces operation on August the 6th. However, he then began assigning duplicate tasks to the Ministry of Defense, the FSB and the Russian National Guard. The Kremlin and the military have tried to create a coherent and effective command and control structure, but it remains unclear who has what responsibilities. Analysts believe that duplication of tasks and weak structures will create friction between the FSB and the Russian Defense Ministry. President Volodymyr Zelensky said that the Ukrainian armed forces operation in the Kursk region has already shown certain results. In particular, it slowed down the Russians and forced them to redeploy about 40,000 soldiers. According to experts in the Kursk region of Russia, the Ukrainian armed forces appear to have entered the rear of the Glushkov group of Russians. Russian ruler Putin does not need the Kursk region at all says retired colonel of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, pilot instructor and military expert Roman Svitan. The Kremlin will not even notice if they completely lose this region.